Students, if you want to increase your marks in social science subject, it's better to revise this all map because just before examination, if you're revising it once, easily you can get full marks in that. So let's uh, start now. I'm going to discuss about geography, chapter three, drainage chapter. Inside this, all the rivers which you can see on this map. So any one river can come. That river will be already drawn on map. You just have to identify which river it is. As like you can see inside this map, mainly these rivers which are drawn, that only rivers which you have to study. As like we know this Tropic of Cancer. So just above of this Tropic of Cancer, that main important rivers as like Indus, the tributaries, Ganga and the Brahmaputra. These are the main three important rivers. And just down of this, the principal rivers which we will discuss afterwards. So now here are the important Himalayan rivers that first of all, that is your Indus River. So this Indus River originates from Mansarovar and then its flow towards Indian continent, then uh, move towards Pakistan and merge up with the Arabian Sea. So first of all, you have to uh, see which areas are it is in Jammu and Kashmir, that Ladakh area. And then afterwards, uh, this little bit tributaries which are there in a different state as like in Punjab or in Jammu and Kashmir, these are portions. So this is your main Indus river. Other than that, you're having the another main tributary of this Indus river that we have Satluj river. This Satluj river, which you can see this area. So this Satluj river moved towards Pakistan and little bit portion of Himachal Pradesh. So this area, which you have to locate for Satluj river. Next, we have the main important river that is our Ganga River. That Ganga River originate from Gangotri, this area, and then afterwards it's moved towards the northern part of our country, and then at large merge with Brahmaputra River and move towards Bangladesh and then entered in Bay of Bengal. Other than that, mainly this in the Himalayan uh, main three, this you have to discuss. More you can see this Brahmaputra River which originating here near Mansarovar and then move towards in in uh, northeastern region and then at last merge with Bay of Bengal. Okay, this is all about the three important rivers in the Himalayan portion in uh, that origin from the Himalayan portion and move towards the northern part of our country. Let's move towards the next part that is our peninsular rivers. Under this peninsular rivers, we having the main important river that originate towards the eastern side. And that is the main important largest river in the Western Ghat. So it's originated this side near the uh, Madhya Pradesh and in Amar Kantak. And afterwards it's moved towards Gujarat and Maharashtra state and merged with the Arabian Sea. The next important river that we have, Tapi River in the Western Ghat. So it's originate in the Madhya Pradesh and then moved towards the Arabian Sea. So these only two important rivers are there in the Western Ghat that merge with the Arabian Sea. And next inside we having more th four important rivers in the Eastern Ghat. So mainly we know that the Western Ghat are much more higher. And that's the reason these rivers originate from the Western Ghats and move towards the Eastern Ghat and merge with the Bay of Bengal. The first we have that is Mahanadi River here, uh, move in Chhattisgarh and Orissa state, then merge with the Bay of Bengal. Next we have Godavari, this one. So you just have to see the name. The first one near this Orissa portion, that is your Mahanadi. Next, we have this Godavari, where you can see this mainly main important state as like Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh. So these are the areas coming under the Godavari state. Next, you can see this Krishna. Krishna River mainly a move towards Maharashtra, then Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. So these are the portion of Krishna River. And down we have Kaveri River, mainly where you can see many important states as like Karnataka, then Kerala, Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. So these all are the main important river which you have to see in the Peninsular Plateau. Okay. Other than that, you just have to see once more about the main important lakes of your country. Mainly you can see the main important lake, only four main important lakes which you have to see on map. The first one that we have, Vullar Lake. This Vullar Lake, which is located in Jammu and Kashmir portion. Next, uh, next we have here Sambar Lake, that's the saltwater lake, uh, which is located in Rajasthan. 
Other than that, we're having here Chilka Lake located in Orissa. And the last one we have Pulikat Lake that is located in the border of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Thank you.